Before we get this video started, I would like to say I'm going to announce the Six Sense 200,000 subscriber giveaway winner right now. If you guys are wondering why it took so long, which I apologize, I've been on the road, guys. The tackle wasn't even in my hands. It's at my house. I've been traveling so much, so I don't want to really pick a winner until I was stable to be able to ship out the package. I just didn't feel like having somebody wait in that whole deal. So we ended up running this on YouTube and also Instagram. I'm going to be picking one winner from Instagram and one winner from YouTube and then spinning the wheel and whoever it lies on between those two is the winner of the whole giveaway. So this could be a winner from Instagram or on YouTube, but I don't know the winner right now, but I'm going to pop the winner on the screen right now. Congratulations. You're the winner of the giveaway. Be sure to DM me on my personal Instagram at Noah Pescatelli. But if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to smash that subscribe button. Hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. And also comment below if you guys have some video ideas. Today we have a banger. I'm so excited. I'm so excited for this one. I've been saving this one for a while, baby. You see this right here? This is the world's cheapest swim bait. This is actually the cheapest swim bait that I could possibly find out of anywhere. I went online, I ordered this off of wish.com and I wanna say it was around 80, I think like 86 cents, I believe this was. And um, I'm very curious about how this is gonna run today. We're gonna do the whole Shazam. I even have a spare GoPro right here that we're gonna do some underwater footage of this thing to see how the action is. With that being said, I'm actually gonna end up giving this away. Yes, I know I'm using it, but I know after I use this, I'm it's gonna sit in a corner. So I'm gonna give this away. If you guys wanna enter it, be sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and hit the notification bell and you're entered for the giveaway. Also, comment below some video ideas if you would like. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and hop into this video and uh, see what it turns out to be. So look at this bad boy. Right, ooh, my voice cracked, that's, that's hot. This bad boy right here is something I would like to throw today. This is the Speed Glide by Six Cents. I've actually caught a few good fish on it. I know Norm has. He threw it and caught some slabs on it. I wish we were throwing this today, but we're having to sacrifice this for the old $80 one, man. We're just going to have to run with it. So let's go ahead and take this thing out of the package, take a look and see what it looks like, and then let's go ahead and go down to the pond, see if we can catch some fish, and then run a little underwater test shot to see the action of this thing in the water. I actually flipped this thing on the back and uh this is so just uh it's so funny when you buy like china stuff like this and like the descriptions or like whatever's on the back or whatever's on the package doesn't even match the, like the bait that you're actually using that is probably one of the funniest things oh okay so here is an up close shot of the world's cheapest swim bait 80 cents just looking at it it doesn't look the best it, it, it it's okay okay for 80 cents whatever my biggest concern is the hooks and i can already tell you just by poking this they're not sharp at all i could probably just stick it in my hand hold on you guys are stupid if you think i was actually going to stick that in my hand <laughs> So we have the bait right here. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take the hook, okay? You're gonna take your fingernail and you're gonna angle it, okay? And you're gonna slide it. Wow, matter of fact, I actually take everything back I said about that. They're not that bad. They're really not that bad. What I was gonna say is when you take a dull hook and you bring it on your fingernail, it's, it is slide. See that, see how it slides? That's not a good hook, okay? You want it to grip down in there just like that but there's like a slight bend and that's the reason it's gripping down but these are not the best hooks um, i'm also curious about the split rings see if those have bend out i'm not sure i think we'll be safe but let's go ahead and get out to the water and see what this thing looks like underwater you guys even see that can you see this one bait go by we need a longer stick for the gopro the motion's not too bad Let's look at it right here, see if you guys can. Well, you guys are probably wondering, Noah, where's the underwater footage? Well, something happened with the GoPro and it just ended up not saving the file. So I apologize about that, but let's go ahead and hop into this video. I hope you guys are gonna enjoy it. Smash the like button. And I'll catch you guys on the other side. All right, here's the swim bait, got it on my rod. If you guys are wondering what pound line, this is actually 15. Um, this is a smaller swim bait, it should be fine. We are taking the yak out today, which I'm pretty excited about. I'm always pumped about taking the yak out. I know you guys hate seeing the yak videos and I apologize, but I love taking the yak out. Okay. Dude, I almost went in. I, I seriously almost went in. I, my brain wasn't thinking and I was like, I have my camera in my pocket. 
I had my phone, I had my batteries, and I was thinking of that mid-step. Let's get ourselves off the bank. I'm curious to see if we can even catch fish on it. This place is very hard to fish, but we've been catching them pretty good recently, and the conditions look phenomenal. If you guys are wondering about the conditions, it is overcast right now, a bunch of clouds outside, heavy wind, and um, man, I, I think that we can catch a few good ones today on it. It's just the fact is if they're gonna stay pinned up on those hooks. These rocks have been very nice to me recently. I'll have to set this up. I've been catching them on soft plastics out here, but just how they, ooh, this bait just exposed itself very quick. I wasn't even reeling it too fast and it just started going to the side. So we're gonna have to slow down the retrieve. I wanna burn it every once in a while. I'm curious, very muddy water. It's been raining here a lot. I hope we can catch a few on it, man. I really do. I want to see how the hooks hold up, and I'm sure we'll catch some. One eternity later. <sighs> Can I cast this thing? Save my life. That was beautiful. That could have been a lot worse. I don't know what I'm doing right now. I'm just off my game. Can't catch a fish throwing the cheapest swim bait in the world, and I can't even cast it. Oh, I think. No way. No way. No way. He's tiny. No way. No way. Dude, are you kidding me? We just caught one. Dude, we just caught one on the world's cheapest swim bait. Oh my gosh. I landed on his head. How lucky of me. How lucky of me. That was a lucky catch right there. That's all that was. Why are you eating this? I mean, I know this is a baby swim bait. A baby bass would eat it, but I would expect something bigger than this. This guy ain't even a pound. Be sure to subscribe, you sons of guns. Wow. Guys, we did it. We caught a fish on the swim bait. I was just starting to get super frustrated with it. Like, I was really starting to get ticked off. Like, I just couldn't cast it. I just couldn't cast in general. Like I was just off my, I'm just not in my zone right now. Just to land on that fish right there and catch him. I don't care how big he was, but the fact we caught one on the world's cheapest swim bait right here is awesome. Let's see how this guy held up. I know it really wasn't much of a destruction, not really a crazy bite, nor a big fish, but it looks about the same. I'm just glad he actually stayed pinned. I'm so surprised he stayed pinned. I was praying that he wasn't gonna come off. You know what guys i am so confident there's a fish in this corner i'm gonna prove it to you right here just for a second okay i just want to prove to you guys that i know there's fish here you always go with your senses people and when your senses are tingling that there's a big fish sitting here or at least a fish and with me just throwing that swim bait he's not going to eat it this is a perfect example on if a fish doesn't want to eat a certain bait slash a moving bait throw in right behind it with something slow some sort of soft plastic and you'll catch it and i'm about to prove it to you right here you guys ready Let's get it. You guys ready? He wouldn't eat a moving bait. Well, let's give him to eat a soft plastic. Yep, he's got it. He's walking with it. What did I say? First cast. Didn't even have to explain it anymore. We don't have to explain nothing after that. Pure facts. If they're not eating a moving bait, you switch up to a soft plastic, you throw in there, he'll eat it. He's hooked pretty good. He ain't coming off. Just like that, fat is all it could be, easy pound and a half. He should only be a pound, but with that fat tummy, what did I say? Can we all agree that I just called my shot? Want to eat the swim bait? I knew there was a fish in that corner, my senses were tingling. Pick up a shaky head, something slow moving. Boom, catch a fatty just like that. That's what we do here on Kicking Their Bass TV. Hope you guys learned something out of that one. All right, buddy, we're gonna get you back in the water. Thank you for biting. I wish you would've ate my swim bait. Where's my swim bait at? Take a look at it. You see that? Next time you better eat it. <laughs> there he goes. That is awesome. Beautiful little fish. What you guys think about that one? That was pretty cool. That was, that was really neat. I love, uh, you know, trying new things and, and going off your gut instinct. I think that's the best thing you can do when fishing. Something was telling me they didn't want to move and bait and everything lined up right there. Boom, baby. Two days prior to today, the pressure's been fairly low and uh, last night the pressure shot up. So I knew these fish were gonna be a little bit more lethargic. That just proves it to you right there. I just kinda wanted to whip that out and show you guys that because you know, that's very important when fishing. You know, if they're not eating a moving bait, you gotta know how to adjust and execute on the fish. And I just proved it there with one cast. All right, let's tie this one bait back on. Oh, oh. 
Oh, 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 oh my gosh. Guy's begging. Oh my god. Oh my That's exactly what I was afraid about with these hooks. That was like a four pounder right there. Boom, gone. He almost jerked the rod out of my hand. Are you kidding me, man? That's what cheap hooks will get you right there, man. Uh, this is why I buy the real deal and I don't buy the cheap stuff. But I guess that's what today's video is about is uh, my overall thoughts on a cheap swim bait. Dang it. If he was small, I wouldn't care, but he was like four pounds and you guys saw him. At least he jumped so, you know, the camera could see it. I hope you guys saw it. Maybe my hand was in the way, hopefully not. Son of a biscuit. All I know is he drilled it. I mean, drilled it. Guys, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna prove my point again. I just, I just know that there's fish here and I, it's driving me crazy that I just can't catch it. Like my senses are tingling and they're telling me Noah throw a worm but the video screaming at me, Noah throw the swim bait, but I'm like neutral on this. <laughs> and I would like to catch a fish. And I'm sure you guys would like to see a fish if that if they're all gonna come off on that big swim bait. <laughs> oh yeah. Big bash, big bash, big bash. Where you at, big bash? I say, where you at? something chasing bait right in front of me oh my gosh look at that if i had my swim bait right there it's probably the fish that we lost oh my god he has it gosh jeez 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 it looks like the wind's getting a little crazy too fish might be rattling rattling up for us but they want slow stuff that's two casts with a worm i'm telling you i could whack them right now i know it jimmy you're really starting to irritate me look how fat they are i mean look how fat yo jimmy's mouth is all sorts of weird buddy you have been jacked have i jacked you one too many times is that for me i hope not pretty fish man i just I'm just proving it right here. Don't want the moving baits. Don't want the slow moving baits. Uh-uh-uh, they were even chasing bait. Ha oh. ha. Oh, it's a big one. Oh man, don't you love it? Let's just not do the challenge, Noah, and just whack big ones all day. Solid two and a half, two and three quarters. Yes, sir. Do me a dance. Don't you love it? So easy, man. The summer bite is so predictable. So predictable. That's a, golly. He ate that sucker too. I'm gonna get the pliers on you, buddy. You did me dirty here. Look at that. Mm. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. You didn't have it that bad. I'm about to say I haven't gut hooked a fish in probably three, maybe four years. Look at that. Fatties, baby. Fatties all thick and healthy. Alright, Jimbo, I outsmarted you. Maybe not with the swim bait. But with the old